the ex work and pension secretary leaving her house this morning. Not the same thing, Thank you so much. But about to say plenty on her reasons for abandoning Boris Johnson's government, having lost faith the Prime Minister really is doing enough to get a deal with the EU. There is this huge machine preparing for no deal, which is fine. You might expect in the balance between getting a deal and no deal, 50-50 in terms of work, but it's not that. It's like 80, 90% of government time going into preparing for no deal and the absence of actually trying to work to get a deal is what has driven 21 of my colleagues to rebel and I need to join them. And she had this warning about the direction of the party. I think that we win as the Conservative Party by showing our values, which are moderate, strong, proportionate, one-nation values. And if we become a party which has no place for the type of moderates that I am, the sort of centre-right Conservatives, then we will not win. Those still in the Cabinet scrambled to insist that, on the contrary, huge amounts of unseen work was going into efforts to get a deal. There's been numerous meetings in they Brussels. Have taken nothing There's been to Brussels. numerous bilateral meetings with EU member states. I've had a number of meetings and discussions. The Prime Minister, for example, is going to Dublin tomorrow. There's more meetings in Brussels next week. And there has been progress. Okay. Environment Minister Therese Coffey has been hastily moved into Amber Rudd's job. Others like the Lord Chancellor Robert Buckland and the Health Secretary Matt Hancock have had to deny that they might be thinking of walking out too. You don't keep a party on the centre ground by abandoning it. You keep a party in the centre by, by fighting for those values within it. Now, I hope that we can find a way back into the party uh, for some of those who had the whip withdrawn last week. Labour might be behind in the polls, but they have plenty of new ammunition. I have a lot of respect for Amber Rudd, um, and she wouldn't resign without having a serious concern about what's going on in government. And it's quite clear that despite all Boris Johnson's commitment that he will negotiate a deal, what she's exposed is actually there's virtually no work going on in government at the moment for that deal. And therefore, I think he's trying to deceive the country. Boris Johnson, who in a week has lost his majority, the support of his brother and Amber Rudd, will tomorrow try again to get the Commons to vote for an early election and will head to Ireland for talks on ways to avoid a hard border there. Getting the outcome he wants on either front is looking as distant as ever. Romilly Weeks, ITV News.